Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you another step-by-step -step landscape painting on this 11 by 14 stretched and primed canvas. I used acrylic gesso, white gesso, did one coat and let it dry before beginning just to prep my canvas. I'm going to be using some black paint to start. I'll be using some white and we're just going to go from there, use a grayscale underpainting and see what we can create today. So to start this painting, I'm going to be using a number 50 giant filbert brush. I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet. You can even get your canvas a little bit wet too. This helps to spread the paint around. Be careful not to add too much water though, otherwise your paint won't stick to the canvas at all and it will just drip. So now I'm going to take my black and I'm going to start right in the middle, actually just below the center line. I'm going to work the paint out of my brush. Add some more here and then do the same thing. Now I've switched over to a smaller filbert brush. It's still pretty big. It's a 30 and I've got white paint and a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm going to start on the bottom right over top of part of that gray where we left off. Work my way up a little bit and then back down. So up a little bit, then back down. I'll take a little bit more water, more white. I've got a little bit of black on there, that's okay. And we'll go right up here, pick up that white, and do the same thing, working our way up to the top. Picking up a little bit more white paint and a tiny bit of water when I need to. So now what I'm going to do is take my brush and right about here, I'm going to just start pulling and flicking on either side. And we're going to start making a landscape like this. So I'm just going to push and tap. Tap, tap, tap while turning my brush. And then we've got some cute looking little trees. So just by using the right brush, you can easily make instant looking trees like that. So if I take a little bit more white, I can start adding some more. Again, the same tap, 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 turning my brush. Now it looks like we have snow covered trees. And we can do anything down here. We could maybe make this look like a waterfall. We could start maybe right about here, pull and drop. So it's so fun having a dark gray canvas. Just pulling and dropping like that. We can add a few little taps and right down below adding a little bit of water or white for the water down here little tap and spray up and then a soft flick
And we can come in with some soft highlights. Maybe some, some foliage is down here. Maybe a little grassy area. And then we can go right in, still using the same brush. A little bit of black. Looking right underneath. I'm just going to add some rocks down below, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. Sometimes I like to just experiment and see because I'm not really sure where I want to go yet. I think I want to come right under here and bring a little bit more of a shadow there. And I'll add a little bit more black. Maybe I'll add a darker tree right here. So I'm just gonna push my brush flat, wiggle in, and get a good amount of black paint right on the tip of it. approach this tree a little bit differently. Maybe I'll just bring it right over here. We could have another one, maybe that goes right off the canvas. I'm going to switch over to my number 12 filbert brush and I'm going to go into my white again. Just going to come from the top here, lightly pull, and then kind of just tap and kind of shake as I'm pulling that down just to give it a little bit of movement. Maybe we've got a few waterfalls along the side here. Tap and then lightly pull and flick up.
has a whole backdrop of waterfalls. And I'm going to just come over here now and add a little bit more of a highlight to my trees. I like how they kind of curve like that. So I don't want to change that. I just want to add a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit more of my black and make it look like there's some moss or something coming down here. Take a little bit more of my black. I still got a bit of that light gray that I just made in there. So give out a little bit of that back in here. And then I'll take a bit more of my black now. Just wiggle out, get it on the end of my brush. And right underneath here and then slide my brush sideways creating more of a shadow and then I'm going to take some more white without washing my brush off and I'm going to start from the center. And make it a little bit lighter so we have it darkest going to brightest. So again, coming in with my whites. Now I've got a really small number four or six flat brush. It's the numbers, the paint's worn off of here now. And I'm going to take a bit of my white. And I'm going to go right over the top. So make some of these stand out a little bit more. I think I see a little, a little staircase. Leading off somewhere. So if you're a little bit 
shaky with a brush while you're dropping and pulling. It'll give your waterfall a bit more movement to it. So I've got a little filbert brush here. This is um, a number eight. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my black and I'm just gonna steady my finger here and add some shadows and some little bushes, a little bit of foliage here. Just to make that staircase stand out a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of white now without washing my brush off. And we'll just start carefully tapping over. And then just a little pull and gentle flick like that. You can add a little bit to the other side. I can even add a few little lines like this for a railing. Okay, maybe this staircase is leading up to a little house. Maybe we've got a little simple looking house back here. Just an indication of something. Little chimney, a little puff of smoke. I'll use a liner brush. This is a number two liner. And I'm going to take some, some of my black paint and I'm going to just outline. Gently, some of these railing posts. And then I'm going to come up to the house and add a shadow for that chimney. And then just a little diagonal flick there for the shadow. Okay, wash all that black out of there and we'll go into white now. And I'm just going to add a few lines and a couple little dabs for windows. 
Make it look like there's some light. And then a little door. A little bit more light just to make that smoke out of the chimney show up a bit better. Then I'm just going to take white, come back in with some waterfalls. A little bit of black. I'm just going to tap in some bushes here. Then a bit of white. And before I call this one all done, I'm going to just loosen up a little bit of this dark gray on my brush. A little bit like that and then a little bit more light over here. I'm going to come over with some more white because as this is kind of sitting into the canvas it's looking a little bit like it's a dark gray and I don't want that I'm just going to brighten up the the top here. just come inside this one with a bit more of a shadow and then take a little bit of white and just outline a little bit to give these rocks a bit of a glow Okay, so as I finish this painting up, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot and got inspired. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day and happy painting. Bye.